Yes, with Recovery Center. This is Jalen. How can I help you? Um, I'm dealing with a lot of stress regarding my mother who's uh, senile and, you know, it's causing me a lot of stress and anxiety and everything. So it would be kind of nice to, uh, you know, maybe go up and get some poppers and then uh, score some beer and get totally shit-faced. Um, so I don't know if that's the best idea. Do you... <laughs> Do you have any other options that might I want popper so bad. I give anything. Well, are you trying to get sober from poppers? Hello? Oh, my. Anyway, enough about. What's your name? Yes. Mitch? Okay. Hey, gentlemen. Hey, gentlemen. That's making you want to. What'd you say? Yes. Can you hear me? What's making you want to use? One night, I was really, really, really poppered up. I mean, I, I was, I had done so many poppers, and um, I was brought back down to earth by the. There was a knocking on my window, and I, I, I lifted my head up and I. Oh my God, it's a cop. And um, oh, no. he said to me, he goes, are you poppered up or something? And I, 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 I couldn't believe what he, he asked me if I was poppered up. And, you know, I, I, <laughs> right away I said, I'm so sorry, officer. I have a brain injury and I, I just got caught up in the moment and, you know, and he goes, well, I was going to give you a ticket, but I'll just let you off with a warning. And he said, you know, don't let me see you up here anymore. You know? Yeah. Well, I'm and glad again, that didn't turn out to be more dangerous, but you know how dangerous it is to be behind the wheel and be using, you know? And again, I do like those poppers. There's no fucking doubt about that. Have you ever thought about coming off of them? Uh, uh, no. I know you're calling for a reason. Is it because you need help? Yes. Are you, are you thinking that you want to stop and try to get some help? Oh, oh, fuck. Fuck, yeah. Okay, Mitch, what's your last name? Poppers. Do you... Mitch, do you mind sharing your last name with me? Yes. Uh, okay. Poppers. I, poppers. Okay. <clears throat> Mitch, do you have any insurance? Yes. Okay. Well, maybe we are. We would be able to get you help with some of your insurance information. I'm recovering um, from pneumonia. Maybe your insurance. What'd you say? I'm recovering from pneumonia and take a look into uh, get some very, very powerful antibiotics. Ah, okay. And so you're just using them a bit more than, than need be? Yes. Okay. How long have you um, been using? In 1961... They did not have the invention called poppers, and they did not know that my heart had stopped when I was when I was born. And what it left me with was it left me with impaired judgment, impaired reasoning skills, impaired logic skills, seven inch cut cock, low hanging balls. I I love coffee. I drink. I drink. Oh my God, do I drink the coffee? Well, I just had some coffee myself. Mitch, do you mind if I if I ask you a couple questions? Who cares? Do you have a loved one that's with you by chance? Is there anyone else with you right now? Oh, I wish I wasn't alone. I wish I wasn't alone. I wish you were You're here, man. Right I really do. Okay. Do you live with anyone else? Do you have someone that you can call right now? Poppers. Do you? That's the thing. Do you have? What did you say? That's the thing. It's been 
it's been almost 20 years since I've, you know, 20 years since I've been fucked and about three years since I sucked the guy's cock, you know, so, um, Hey Mitch, that, I don't need to know any of that. Okay. Who cares? Well, let's just, uh, redirect the conversation here. I know you called me for a reason and I know you're a bit loaded right now and that's okay. So I'm going to take your information down and then I'm going to make sure I follow back up with you. Okay. Ah, yes. Yes. And then once I follow back up with you, I'll be able to explain things a bit more. And then um, we're going to try to see if we can get you some help. Okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, Are you in a, are you at home? Ah, yes. Are you at home, Mitch? Okay. Well, I just want you to maybe have a couple glasses of water and, you know, just maybe sit down for a minute, watch a good movie, but I will follow back up with you. Okay. And, and we're going to get through this together, but I want you to come down a little bit before we start to talk about the process. Okay. I, I don't know to be honest with you right now. If one, I want a dick more in my mouth, a dick in my mouth, or a six-pack of beer. Mitch, this is getting inappropriate, okay? So I'm going to let you go, but I will follow back up with you, okay? How are you doing? I'm doing well, thank you. Did you hear what I said? My mother is suffering from dementia. I'll follow back up with you, Mitch. My mother is suffering. You be safe. I'd be eating your nips, squeezing your nips, squeezing your nips, jacking your dick off, man, squeezing those balls, beating the balls back and forth in my hand, man. And then I'd squeeze my hand, hand around to your butthole, and I'd stick my finger over your butthole and get your dick nice and hard. Hello, can you How may I help you? Give me your poppers so I can get all poppered up. Do you have poppers on you? I am recovering from. Ronaldo Rich, how may I help you? If you have, if you, I am recovering from pneumonia and take a look into uh, get some very, very powerful antibiotics. Just a second. <laughs> I love poppers, guys. Admissions, this is Jeff. I am recovering from pneumonia and take a look into uh, get some very, very powerful antibiotics. Okay. I want poppers so bad. I give you anything. For, for what? Poppers, poppers, and poppers. Okay. Um, are you in looking 19, for a In 1961, they did not have the invention called poppers, and they did not know that my cock had stopped when I was when I was born. And what it left me with was it left me with impaired poppers judgment. Impaired poppers, reasoning skills, impaired poppers, logic skills. In in 1961? Yes. Okay. I was born in 1962. Oh. 215 pounds. I have brown hair, I got brown eyes, and I got a great beard. You got a great beard? I got a little bit of razor stubble on on my face. That's pretty awesome. Are you looking for rehab? Yes. Okay. What kind of rehab do you need? And again, I do like those poppers. There's no fucking doubt about that. Okay. So you're, you're looking for like... Poppers. You're calling the wrong rehab. Looking to uh, get some very, very powerful antibiotics. Now, you're, are you currently in a hospital right now? Uh, no. 
Okay, so if we don't take direct admins, you'd have to be in a hospital. And I think you're looking at the wrong rehab as well. My mother is suffering from dementia, and I don't know why, but she's chosen for me, out of my other two brothers, for me to be the one that she dumps on. And, oh my God, it's fucking hell. Oh, I can imagine. Isn't it funny how when you're fucking horny as hell, you can't really think? All you think about is your dick. All you think about is your dick and jacking it and... Oh, God, I'm coming. I'm coming. Uh, I'm coming. Uh, 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 oh, fuck. Oh, fuck, yeah. Oh, oh, fuck. Oh, oh, oh. I'm, I'm a white guy. I'm disease-free. I want to keep it that way. I cannot travel. I can only host. Excuse me.